Titans. Their mistake finishing out the lineup with a Cypher. Yeah, a very unusual sight considering what we had in the past, but this pack... Boy gets traded out. There's no real escape from this one. But they seems to know, FBX seems to know exactly where he is, and they get him for his own toxic screen. That is absolutely nasty. That should have not happened, but obviously you're moving behind the toxic screen, and suddenly you get caught off guard. That happens, unfortunately, still the retake could be on 25 seconds to get a bit of information, but those shots are just coming in. Of course, it's a down easy frax found, another body shot on to safe, and suddenly Leo is the last. Crypt grenade hit. They're gonna try and hit first with some utility. It's all trying to make its way in, but Zipan is up on the high ground, might be able to catch safe as he's placing the turret. This is great oh, play from no. him, and the fact that he's able to clean up that much before one member of guild put him down. He's managed to get so much done. And up to Yasin in a one versus three, wrapping in from behind. Shadow's not really checking it, but now he's got a keen eye. You see, most likely won't make anything happen here. It would be a miracle. Still dings. A name. Maybe not every single viewer remembers. Definitely a name that really made themselves stand out. Shadow, in the meantime, taking out Drake. And the defense, once more, of Guild looking quite shaky. As now, it's FBX that have conquered the B side. The territory belongs to them. The shots are on. And there's already a double advantage for FBX. The attack side just fits to this team under the leadership of Angel, but there's still a bit more to come. You see, careful as he is, takes out Shadow, had a slight advantage, at least what it must feel like, but there it comes. Shadow's taking him out, but he's still got to be careful. This is a two versus two that looked initially very solid for the side of FPX, but could, that could still get dangerous. Only Angel alive, and he doesn't stand a chance. Safe once more prevails, and that brings the first round in favor of the Sweets. Yeah, we'll be joining them a little later on, but Zipan is able to find the entry, find the opening. And this is a, a slow thinking man's game of Valorant. Both these teams are very, very methodical with their approach. And even safe, he has the lockdown. It'll create a lot of space considering all of Epic's playing on the site. But he's second guessing himself a little. Very much he does second guess himself. Leo, though, in the meantime, no second guesses for him as he just remains hidden. And there comes the second attack. Safe is taking him down. And Zippin is falling finally. It looked somewhat promising for Cypher and the, the mind game and who's winning out the maps. And there's the Seekers actually coming in from Shadow. Zippin's ah. done well to try and move off of that. Angel finds a way into mid, but you see, instantly shuts it down. Hands on point, at least that way it seems so far. Again, one of those reload scenarios. Unlucky for him, they know where Bonkar is. The man has no utility, so reinforcements need to come to help him. And well, they're coming too close. Safe is still on it. By the way, the man is still with the lockdown that he could use. And there it comes. 10 seconds for Shao to make a move. It's gonna get him out of there. But that ain't happening. No evacuation. Safe fourth rounds. Well, pretty much brought in there from. The problem now is. B has been ruled out. The options are limited. Yeah, the pressing is coming in. FPX, if they're a bit more patient, might be able to catch this push coming in, but they're trying to still make their way onto the A side. Leo is able to still survive, even with that utility the shot out being fired out. Majority of damage was done for Shadow, but it has to be another player for FPX to clear it out. Here comes that pincer move. You've seen catches on to Angel. And the spike still hasn't actually gone down for FPX at this point. They're trying to hold on as much as they possibly can, but Shell's compromised. Yeah, no chance. The man has 5 HP. He's bleeding out every single hole, and it's just going worse and worse. A safe is there to find the final. You don't often see a, a lot of, but there's the showstopper actually coming on the attack from Shell. And from a great distance, catching oh. up to Bonka. The headshot onto your seed to follow is great, but Guild are starting to even this up now, 2 versus 2. Oh, this is still working fine though that was looking close but nope it's still not working out according to plan shadow stands a chance safe it's just body shot away from dying talking about it he got it but not uh. entirely that was still a solid round considering what they got onto the site with does he pick up anything no he's is it just humiliating him in that degree yeah okay that <laughs> seems to be either some bm or something it's considering talking about it and spending gonna be on a this time Halfway to having another lockdown this quickly, and Dimasic's gonna get pushed fast. Guild love to be able to do this, it works out perfectly, but FPX are always good to get one at least to begin with, and getting the killjoy means that utility just in front of the A site isn't gonna be much use.
But at least we're seeing some of the players mostly going to be Yasin trying to wrap around Leo with the L drone. The Seekers comes in for the second time for FBX, but Gilda playing this incredibly passive. That seems to be a skill that really pays off, that there's no greed in this team. Every move seems to be so well planned in advance. And as there was another ult coming in, the plan's gonna be the night once more. They simply don't have zipping on the radar, but it only works for one. Spike still not hitting the concrete, and this means it's once more time that has been spanned, but Angel coming in with the flank, that might be the crucial move, because nobody seems to be aware at the IGL of the FP site, FPX side is just coming around here. He is finding your scene with ease. And this is giving them now the man advantage. But does it automatically give him the round? No, that doesn't seem to be the case. Leo's on it again. But it's now one man standing. Draken. Gotta turn this one around. As a snake bite to do it, a toxic screen in a perfect position to be able to isolate some of these jewels. But FPX have moved away. They've buddied up. Not really playing for post plant utility, they're not really on the agents to do that. But they're just gonna close up this distance. Draken finds our first fight to Shao, but he clears it. Not entirely sure how much are left. Draken's patient is key, but Draken is absolutely whiffing those shots. Oh, none of that is even working. And a judge, usually so useful, <laughs> and at Ooh. least one frag from your scene. Demisic doing lots of damage in onto your scene. He clears up B main for a bit more space for FPX to make their play, and Leo is now about to make this a little bit closer on ultimate for save. Luckily, the Killjoy ultimate was super successful last time it was used, but Showstopper again available for Shao. The Viper's hit used almost instantly, and no lockdown for Guild on this defense. Usually, it's a life insurance. You can easily getting a retake with that. Easily. Holding a player from pushing his sight. Now Draken. Oh boy, that is a whiff by the book, unfortunately, coming in from Mr. Sundin. And the dragon has already died. And nobody knows that there is a man close by. Still, it wow. is going to be the Guardian Angel in the form of Sippin. Taking care that nothing happens to the Bomb Planter. It is once more working for FBX. And this seems to be really the tie coming their way. Blade Storm still in place for Zipan up until then. You seen dashes out to safety, but showers. Things have changed, setups have changed, mentalities have changed, all those kind of things. But there's definitely one thing that hasn't changed. A good old rush on the A side. The theme is sick, the only one holding it up, easily getting out to Starman called you see. Shadow's gonna play off of that perfectly. The classic off the back of the guiding light is good. Steve still hasn't got the spike planted yet, but catches Angel, who's off guard. Xiao cleans up, Draken only on 26 health. Leaks onto it, can't really hit the shots around Shadow. It was a good round for him, the setups and the shutdown. Stops them from proceeding. Obviously, that one is going to collapse at one point, but they just don't feel very comfortable in doing so. A very inhospitable A side of this. No visitors, thank you very much. Keep on moving. This yes. is a good idea, though, mm -hmm. because you got the cipher down. The tripwires have been disabled. Really, now's a good chance for Guild to start pushing places. Like holding on here, it's very liquid. It just stay in a spot for thirty seconds and hope the rotation came in. FBX almost did it instantly. As soon as Guild went silent, it moved back over to B. But this is still a very slow hit. That's left. enough information for Shadow to work off, and the rotates coming back. And once more, the wall's gonna go up. It has to at least come up soon. Angel is still not putting it up. And now, there, now maybe the problems are starting to rise. Shadow is falling. And that's only leaving it down to the veteran of the site of FBX. Too many targets to shoot at. The clay pigeons. Time's already in this second half where we saw them take, give so much ground. But Angel, he once more conquered it. And that wall, as you mentioned previously, ideal for such a retake, for such a defuse. They were having the night vision. And once more, every bit of utility is thrown in their direction. They start it. Can they half it? It seems to be working at least. And Dima 6 backing off. So they got a more than ideal situation at that point. They just need to find all those frags. Shao wanted to start. Can't make it work. And so safe and his boys will make it only one of them. Still got to turn this one around. No more smoke seem to be left. As Viper could pretty much screw it. Sipping is whiffing. And Draken brings it home. He looked shaky. 
There comes the push over on the side. Sippin has been forced away. What can Shao do though with the showstopper? He's holding him up for a little longer. Another one of those stuns. And Yasin's high ground is not paying off at the oh, moment. No. The rocket is coming his way. Good night. You know when I said about you seeing unfortunate things constantly happen to him? Well, <laughs> there's another one. There's the lockdown. Going to create a bit more space for FBX, but Angel's going in on this team. He catches Bonker. The spike has been dropped. He's going to get detained. He might even get killed towards the end. His teammates are there to at least protect him, but it's given Guild enough room to get a Viper's Pit down. The spike not yet being planted. And Zippo might be able to check this corner and clear it, and the Viper's Pit's going to go down. Oh, this was so well done. And I mean, the aggression from Angel is not pretty key on holding back this execute early on. Shao doesn't have the showstopper to ward off some of these attacking players. And utility on either side. The aftershock, the nano swarm. He sees a bit of a peak. And I don't think Guild are going to expect him to be this close. No. But it doesn't matter. You've seen wins the duel. How unfortunate for Shao. He seems to pretty much have it all in his hands. But the flank from Angel. Well. That seems to be pretty much expected. They're all backing off, just leaving it be. <laughs> the entire squad is coming team. over. Yeah, very well coordinated. Angel didn't even stand a chance, and that one, a very unrealistic chance of taking it home. Now the after plant utility is coming in. The shock darts, the snake bites, you name it, they throw it. It's a disgusting after plant scenario for FBX. And a great little pivot for Gabe. He's going to continue this on. Zipan not giving up any space, even with the Aldrin giving up that position. Him and Shao, this A site, it's going to be real difficult for G, uh, G2, for Guild to take down. Well, there's basically no room for complacency at this point for FBX, and therefore they take the initiative. Take a very early fight in front of A, a position that has been attacked the majority of the times by now. Sipping with his little dancey dance, avoiding the Aldrin taking it out. This leaves guilt of a proper solve of utility. More likely, oh, far than that. Could have been used so well. But now, Drake and absolutely blind. Moving away, staying back on site. Took a few shots. Oh, and this is going to become problematic at this point in time. Mr. Aiken oh, nearly doesn't hit the shot. Shadow's coming around. Can't get much more than that. And that's it. Now, if you're Dimasuke, you want to play this very carefully. You've got the camera in the top. Rolling Thunder might be coming out, but the fault line is going to be the first indication of stuff coming through. That's a tag. Dimasuke's actually going to try and get the kill from the smoke. Nicely done from him. This lockdown might detain him, but he might be able to get a few more kills before he's either detained or killed. Shao is playing off this perfectly. And FPX have two players detained, but they managed to get the kills in time. A good opportunity. To get themselves into overtime because we see Draken in the scene. Money's not looking too good on them. The wallets are not that thick, and this could lead to an economic drought in the next one. But first of all, Darius might be able to clear it out. The scene is going to get oh! by the trailblazer of all things. He's had some real mired moments. And Guild safe. Managing to play it off back. There's a rolling thunder that's going to be used instantly. It is going to only connect onto Dimasic. The rest of FBX playing very oh, far back. Dimasic is able to survive. At least that new version of the Aftershock gives him that much space. And Safe gets a second. This is more than unfortunate right now what happens to Dimasic. In the lurk in middle, we have seen from Drake and pretty much gave him security to find another one. They pretty much lock it down. The walls are being put up and there should be no chance for Sippin and his teammate as he's falling into the face of Bonkar. That should be done, but never say never. When there is a Sippin on the server, magic just might come around the corner. He knows Bonkar is just close by, but they all need to pretty much make it possible that he doesn't get 1v1s. He gets no 1v1. They're trying to chip their way in, but he's going to get flashed from one side and sees members of the attacking FPX on the other. But he's doing well to actually hold the line. Dimisic is the one that takes him down. And Lamps has been compromised. FPX have a hold of it. These last two surviving guild members swapping in behind, but the brimstone smoke placed down from Angel is going to separate them and split up these guild defenders. Also, no smoke is left here for Bonkar, which obviously makes it pretty much 
Impossible to deny any vision. Here comes the Molly. Not as helpful as you might have thought it would be. And so that position is ruled out. All nice and great. You've seen those starts are showing. Two more are to go. Gotta be careful all over the site. The grenade is good. And it seems like that just might bring it any further. Demosic is just a headshot away. And you've seen is starting it. He's gonna stick off in it. Now he hears the step, but he can't find it in the end. Yeah, I'll just now hold in the line in case somebody else wants to push for it. It looks like three members are about to come through one by one. <laughs> Out. Oh no. He's there to Everybody meet everybody, <laughs> and that's the 4K. And the ace, the other side of the map. And with all the utility coming in, he's definitely denying them. That's some proper stuff that came out of Leo. They get no X's at the moment, but he can activate his second nano swarm if I see that correctly. We've now lead to them having all the control towards lamps. Sipping, taking out Bonker with Eve. FPX are definitely in the driver's seat at that point in time. And as you see, once more has to start the Yassin show, here comes the 8 orb old, and it doesn't work according to plan. One to the frack, didn't get it, 15 more seconds, that spike still needs to go down, and it seems like FPX are failing to do so. It's still not happening, it still is on the rise right now for Guild, as they're finding the round, seemingly to do so. Zeppelin doesn't stand a chance. This is a bit scary though, I do think that we can see the brimstone of Bonka and Leo in this position in showers continue to be a threat to so the Molotov to isolate those players and give FX a bit of breathing room is a nice play. The birds flying in no man's land, but it's FPX who still at least find those fracks, which only brings it down to two. Well, make it one. They can try in his best. Still got the judge in hand, switches it over to a phantom. But his chances are slim, and there's no universe where that's gonna work around that. Hard to gauge, lot to speculate about. But even just having this operator posted on B-Long is good, but not necessarily when Draken, who has a toxic screen protecting the position that you're playing in, he goes down in Hookah. And safe very easily here can be flanked, kicked in from behind, and it forces Guild to rotate very quickly. Now you see there to help. I've got your trail. Now the secrets are coming out. This is going to be swift. This is going to be fast. Coming over on the A site. As Angel starts off with Bonkar, everything's according to plan once more. Then they just in front of the feet. Oh, you see? actually, you see him doing that. Talking about. I know. Now he's under so much pressure. It's, it's just always him. When something weird happens to the guild, it's always him. Like, that. that's just unfortunate. I wouldn't necessarily say that counts. But FBX, every time guild are now desperate to make a play. FPX are just happy to sit back and let them, let Gil just run into their guns. That's yeah, a full buy, by the way. Smoke. Yes. So no breeze. No haven. No sin. Yeah, big props to Xil, who was asking me earlier. In the meantime, you've seen. It's finding one. Proper job from him at least getting one of them out, but it seems like desperation starts to set in. And it's a little unfortunate. The FBX acting absolutely iron fisted at this point. I don't know what it is. It, it guild seems a little fraud, but it doesn't even matter because it's a wonderful and exceptional FBX game so far. At least Guild are able to put a bit more damage into FPX. Their economy needs to be tested a little bit more because right now they're Scrooge McDucking on multiple credits. I like that Scrooge McDucking. It's not really a verb, but ultimates, all of which are incredible at making some space and building some room. That's a. Uh, don't like that from Leo. We're having a Killjoy lockdown. He's trying to press in and just jumps. Luckily, the rest of Guild are able to sort of scrape a few of these kills. FPX now being tested on the full buys. And right now, it's looking like it's going to be flawless for Guild. Serving a pretty much dire situation. No real options left. They gotta get the spike on the ground. And three players are already guarding the site. First man's losing his head. And Xiao will just get in there as well. No big problem. Still at least kills one. Comes over a second as well, but finally. Not too sure. Hyper's head's been used, that's easy to spot, and this is a peak coming through to show someone's gonna make them absolutely run away. It's, it's good for one. I think it's feeling this moment, it's oh. all over the place. Bunker, he's 0 and 10. I know said frags don't matter that much, but he's not really doing himself any favors. And save 
has a cheeky angle to hold on to. It's one of the reasons why I think we're seeing Xiao, at least up until now, was absolutely booting it down B along, but the Eldron's going to do the rest of the work. Nero Theft is going to show it up. Safe gets the kill oh. just before it gives up his position. Now he's going to flash around this corner. I don't think he's going to get Xiao to be this close. <gasps> no it. way! So somehow, Xiao, he's on a one versus two. The lockdown is just going to break up this fight. The spike is up in sight. This is more than doable, but it's where he expects Draken to be wrapping in. This is horrible. This has n should have never happened. The amount of space he just got gifted is way too much. And as Xiao left. can make a decision at that point in time to use a teleporter, you would see both of the players of guild would not be too slow to get on the site. Xiao's already opening it up for himself. Taking a closer look at a few of those angles, but he's planting in the open. One peak of Drake can, and that should do the job. Easily done. It's like you see in off this position. He knows he's under that pressure almost instantly, so throws Please. out the pink shell. Angel is full throttle oh. and wins that duel still against the scene. Now the Hunter's Fury, Leo is scattering around, trying to find somewhere safe and an angle to take a fight. But FPX just aren't holding back. But the Chaos Descends just on the side of A, and suddenly you only have it down to one man. Name Straken and, and Mr. Sundin definitely has a solid chance. Yeah, but exactly. It's just not an ideal tool. It's it's just a sheriff you can work with. Picking up a weapon will make sound. And the drone coming your way, it's not getting any easier. <laughs> He's got to be just peeking, and they have wall hacks. No real chance. As he cons could consider to take his operator at that point in time. He's forcing them out to make a move, but it's getting denied entirely. But whether they do is a big question mark. But a win over guild here would at least ease some of the... The ideas, I suppose, as a fan like myself has, and we're yeah. still in a 4 versus 4 as the execute in. I've conquered the side already. Territory ter territory belongs to Gil at that point, though they took a good bit of damage. Information has been gained as well. Angel can't allow himself to whiff, thus so unfortunately for him. But FBX still got solid players left on the battlefield. But as I say it, one after another, hitting the ground face first, going bottom up. Oh, and Shao's on it. That's possibly working at that point in time but it would be one hell of a miracle fpx definitely got a clutch master with this man you've seen in the past in stage two man is capable of finding such rounds but safe is gonna close the case in favor of <laughs> for aim lamps i mean they sponsor the na side of it so i mean, yeah. that bad. <laughs> I mean it's the na side they are good with aim anyway in the meantime he was sick Finding a good frack on your scene, and once the weapons are coming in for the FPX side, they're once more in the driver's seat. As they definitely seem to bring it home once more for Soaring Bird that's coming from the ashes. And talking about it, Demasic coming for the smoke, trying to bring a bit more control in it. They definitely know about one player close to Lambs. And they're backing off. None, not interested in the Tasmanian Tiger. Sippendo falls. Man, advantage. It's getting slimmer and slimmer. And it might just be equalized with a solid peak by Leo. That works according to plan. But Angel knows how to counter it. A Spectre and a Bulldog. Not what you really want to see for a round number six. Oh, there's an oh, no. issue here. These players could line up. No player is looking to watch showers. Thankfully, Angel does peek away. Oh no. It's weird because Shadow is not involved in this fight whatsoever. He still thinks it's going to be a B hit. So Angel's probably screaming for like, help me please, it's A. How long does it take you to rotate, please? He doesn't need the help. That's a triple kill for him. And Save does have the Seekers, uses it and uses it to get a nice peek. The Seekers going over the top of the ATV really helped him out there. Now Shadow, a bit late to the party, can finish it off. He's trying to guide and line up the back. Knows that this pressure's coming in from Lamps. Dave's gonna try and bash out and peek it. He's holding on to this corner. There's Jiggle oh, peeks everywhere. No! Holds his line. Saved now. There's only a couple of rounds. But oh, wow. And that's obviously a perfect snake bite. This is absolutely dangerous. They land from one utility to the mother. Yassine will not stand a chance. Actually, is still alive. Taking that one back. And suddenly, with 10 seconds left on that clock, it's time to make it work. It's time to get the spike down on the ground, and they're initiating it. Just back in the tube, oh, oh, Leo is out. That's in time. He's swift enough, and the bunny hops have paid off. No chance at all for Gills, as once 
They had the game plan and knew that they're coming out of Hookah. That's duck in, duck in this fight now. The Molotov is going to at least keep him in a scarred spot and actually somehow gets out of there on skate. Now, as you see the ult coming in, you've seen at least gets one. That pays off to some degree. And FPX again, of man disadvantage, as the attack on the A site has been charged up. And they have entered it. Zip and ha, oh, very unusual if you see. Not so often from him. And this one's more. Con really running with the economical advantage they've been playing with. And as obviously both parties have. Swapped out the ancient compositions. Those games just get more and more exciting as they just get used to it. Obviously, use them in practice, but at that point in time, those changes make it interesting. And talking about changes, Demasek is absolutely changing the entire outcome of this game as Shao swings wide and leaves it only on Drake. And he needs a miracle, but it's not working at all. The man's all is gone. Uh, in showers, he's willing to fight that. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Yasin seems to only know the W key, so no problem, no issue for him. And as FBX are doing the best to just lock down the sites, well, access has been granted. That's a nice arrow. It doesn't change the outcome that they all went over short and obtained the control to get the spike in position. FBX, the only advantage I see from them is that they all have to fight against somewhat damaged players. They are all wounded, all very close, all pretty much in the same position. But other than that, not too much to do because the utility is low, not the best retake agents overall. And it seems like it might just be done and dusted before it even started as they all wait in lambs. The right peak is what is needed or a sip and obviously coming in as the maniac he is. Demosic starting the show, the double's in, but the triple is not there yet. The retake could just work indeed as only Bonkar has a say oh in this. No. He does not whiff, he got a swing wide, he's pulling it through. Balls of steel from Xiao that brings home number 12. I don't know why Bonkar doesn't... He has started shooting, perfect stuff, bringing them at least a step closer to another victory. And the one thing that I just quickly want to mention about that one round where we discussed why did Bonkar peak or not? And <laughs> Bonkar has made his way into sight. There's only going to be so long that the sky smokes stay up for. Zipan is playing in close. Is he going to try and get the player as the, as the spike is being dropped? No, because the Hunter's Ooh. Fury is going to do that. And that's a nice shot from Xiao. Connects onto a couple of players with a final hit. The spike does eventually go down, and FTX are leaning to try and take the fight and to get Bonker. Perfect initiative. It has been taken here, and so it just goes on. Oh, Leo's little bot is starting to come in. The turret doing somewhat of a job. Oh, and they have to just run into their hands. There's one coming in, that's for sure. Shadow is gonna be denied as he's still off in at least, but Drake doesn't stand a chance. Case closed. Round. I'm not sure if I've lost Vincent. I hope everything is okay. As this attack wanted to go on to B site. And uh, definitely not looking too good. Because Guild was already waiting for it. Hope Infinite. And with uh, Jasin finishing two kills for him. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to decide what they're going to do. Yeah, the classic. Just press the mute button. Yeah, Typical classic. <laughs> very, very usual thing for me to do. <gasps> Nowadays, I even got myself a stream, uh, some sort of stream deck that is helping me to see a big red button. Still, still doing it. It's never going to. Oh, when you see a red button, you gotta push it. Yeah, that is probably not the right thing to do. Yeah. There's a lot of red buttons that are very dangerous, and what's also very dangerous is definitely Bonkar here on side as he's suddenly being pushed. The classic in the form of Leo is actually making it work. Indeed, he was pretty much done and dusted and save he keeps on running he keeps on actually running away and he put the position in of just seeing here and you're always in the middle bonker being caught off guard absolutely an individual that is so crucial you often don't see him on top of the scoreboard but definitely a man because just by pure utility impact knows what he's doing. And you see, he wants to revenge for that, doesn't get it, also falls oh. short. And that is obviously the utility and the ult itself that's going to give them what they need. A-side control could belong to them swift as they're coming over ropes. They just 
tend to take down safe, but they're also giving their opponent a lot of time to rotate. Draken though finally falls, and it should be just done and dusted. As I say that, safe is still taking down Dima 6. The control has not been taken overall, which now makes the problem for FPX a bit more critical and problematic. But at the end of the day, Leo's gonna sell. So obviously, still in that middle part, taking care of their teammates, and so no one's gonna be pushing you from the back, no worries. Oh, that's absolutely nasty, and this is the quality of safe. Manned on his own, by the way, holding the site single-handedly, and as this is all nice and great, he's gonna fall back. He's not even gonna give Zippin the slightest opportunity here, and that old surely gave him a lot of room, but definitely not the frag he was looking for. He knows that some are coming over ropes. That's major damage dealt. Seems like he didn't evaluate that one right. And here comes the push over ramp. FPX, they might just crumble. They might just fall. Shadow doesn't stand a chance. Spikes down. That's nice and great. But this got to be a clutch by the book. And if there's a clutch meister, it most definitely is, Xiao. Might just start this one good, but all the utility is coming his way. He's still finding one at least. But the blast pack is sealing the deal. Just need a satchel. But they, they pretty much took B set control without putting any effort in it. They hardly contested them. Hardly had to bring up anything. That's very yeah. smart. They they know that there's no way that FPX does not have a lurker on this. Yeah, but that old ah, oh, it's disgustingly denying them. But at the same oh. time, they're also using their old both breach coming in with the rolling thunder and safe is just waiting it out. He's coming in with his teammates when needed. As Bonkar's opening up with the flash, they all just storm the site. And as Sippin oh, is just waiting and playing behind the pillar, oh. they seem to make it work nevertheless. They're all storming the site, but access denied. Fourth comes in for FBX. Angel again. I have a deja vu. The man's oh. doing pretty much the same again oh, and again, but he makes it work. Yeah, pretty much done with these, and that's mid control for you. FPX. There's no much. There, there are not many obstacles in the way here for a fifth round. Yeah, and they have a lot of space to work with. They're always controlling the A side the same way. Almost every round. Oh, Angel, please give them a break. Come on. Um, uh, well. It's not into it. Obviously not. The rifle, it'd be worth it. But that's all that they have. For three seconds, seconds they were there. 30 seconds that FPX has now. And the execute is coming in to be anytime soon. Anytime soon is a very nice way to phrase it. <laughs> 20 seconds. The man just gotta come in. Nate's hopping in. Still, there's a right click that works at the end of the day. The spike has been Aww. left. Oh, and this is becoming problematic. You gotta retrieve it. Gotta plant it. And in the meantime, also kill a few of those guys from guilt at the end of the day. Aww. That's not working out at all. Ugh. What a horrible 50 year yeah, let's see what they can do, because as we were talking about last round, in this round the spike has already been planted, but it's still a 5v5. Three to take is gonna be coming in at any point. Oh. Angel needs to give up his position. Demasek oh. here. Oh no. Oh, that's... Oh, again. Demasek gets the kill, gets his hold, and they know everything they need to know. Right, absolutely. Oh. That was dangerous. It's Beautiful. just so clean. Beautiful. It's just so... Gets the old out. Let's play with this information. They have the spike planted. They knew probably was gonna was gonna go on, but it's just... Necessary sometimes. To have a True, like absolutely. That. Whilst all of this is happening, Sippin pretty much took a priority pass over to the side of A. It didn't work according to the plan, that is for sure. And still, they're all over the sides, trying to finally gain access. And so, as Safe falls, the first line of defense crumbles, and that just goes on and on and on. As Leo left a little gap, obviously that gives Demasic the opportunity. And once more, you gotta reconsider, do you actually want to go for it? Drake and surely could try to do so, but you see on the right-hand side, 350 creds. A rifle in hand for the next one, that would be great. Definitely they want to decimate the economy of their okay. opponent. He's gonna dare it. He's gonna try it. The man's coming in right now, wants to get the clutch. And Dragon has been looking a little bit shaky today. This does not mean that this man is not capable of it. Definitely one of the most talented and skilled players in this oh. entire tournament. There be some aggression coming in again to B lobby. They back off. Oh, not enough. Not enough backing off. Well, it's a classic team that always is reoccurring. Last round of the half, crazy stuff happened. 
talking about it. Oh, oh. Angel takes him out. There's a second one coming, but Bonkar. Bonkar, come on. You cannot miss that. How are you I'm going to send him a virtual hug because with the specter, he probably just got scared, you know, like, holy. You know, he just turned around and was like, oh my God. Can't believe you're here. We're going to give him that. Oh. See with okay. Oh, okay. lost him out while they were attacking. And obviously, both are very interesting storylines. In the meantime, sip and whiffing such oh. a shot that's unusual. Yes, yeah, so I've guessed the first one, but he's only 10 HP. He does have oh, just seen coming in with the support. Find an angel, shadow does finish. Saves lives as well. Prince using both like over to make it somewhat in time to still pressure them. Shadow's coming in. And assisting him over on heaven as well but guild got all the time in this world to set themselves up the way they want dima sick is initiating the attack and whilst they also come over b main xiao is joining the party and the fest has started the mayhem might just come down over to the side of b and fpx they still send shadow That's in and a proper flash that could make it work oh no he was blind and he's right clicking oh. away it was seemed like an easy task once they got their first two kills but definitely wasn't. Oh, Talking about sorry. Bunker only getting three kills, and now he gets me two on the most important round. <laughs> My man. I mean, the scene is taking major risk there. Xiao is once more on it to deny any access on the site, but that's not happening. Easy free real estate, but I don't think they got Angel on the radar. Not entirely, that seems to be the case. As the man is the whiff in his shot, Mouse just went suddenly into a space program. That leaves Demasic on his own. Surely that has been alright damage dealt, though they have forced themselves up a little bit. A very interesting, yeah. unique cage he has just dropped. Knows about the tripwire, oh. is jumping just above it, and knows that safe might be just around the corner. Hasn't been born yesterday, so he's trying to initiate it. Swings wide, tries his best, left in sight, safe. I mean, man has been putting up a Swedish roster that definitely is on the highest level of competing. My camera is this. We literally the thought about making t-shirts that said Bunker to Iceland. No joke. <laughs> well, I would have liked to have seen that, but it seems like at this, it's this, point, this point in time, FX would rather like to see them in the grave. And, well, oh. it seems like Zippin is literally doing the graveyard shift with the triple coming in. Guilt are definitely on the back foot, thrown around there, and standing hardly any chance as they're being bulldozed all in B main. And those two... I don't see it working that much, to be frank. Oh. Ooh! Okay, Leo, he has the rest. He has. He, he just healed himself. He needs to go for the rest right now if he wants to use it. The spike is on his back. He still can manage to get this round for himself. Angel is forced to back up, waiting for Shao on his flank. Anything could happen here. Leo is just so smart. I wish time could go back and we could still save all the time. In the meantime. Oh! This is costly. I mean, considering that we started with a triple for the side of FPX, yeah. at that point in time, it's getting scary. And this is the mind game of two master minds playing against each other. But you don't need to be a doctor mathematician to understand that this is going to be one swift A side attack. Bonker is trying his uh. best with the use in bolt impression. The abilities being, you know, more expensive right now. Mm. See where you're coming from with that. You've seen though, talking about expensive utility, eight old orbs this cost it, but exactly. Angel's out of the equation, and that is another piece of information that's definitely more than beneficial. As Xiao tries to withstand the temptation to go a little further and move out, they still found a way to get that one down. And you said it, it costs double, it doesn't mean that they can pay triple to make it work in the following. It seems that's exactly what they are doing. Oh. scene is on it again. Hold just left mouse button that and that makes massive. it work. Angel's coming back alive and this is obviously the big brain back oh. in the equation. Shadow's not checking the corner and the shadow is whiffing that opportunity. It's again FPX running out of chances. They have to make a big play in this one. It's not happening. Guild bring home number eight and that seems to be one of the biggest surprises of this game so far that such a oh. round works. Oh my god, and Saif is gonna finish off. There's are some of the best teams in Europe fighting right here to advance to the actual challengers stage, which is just one of the few steps you gotta make. 
Yeah, but still, every step I think is really important, especially after that pause that for most of the teams was right. Iceland. The thing that everybody needs a good comeback. They need to, you know, make themselves ooh, one of the best teams in Europe. Absolutely. And so far, there has been a lot of competition, and obviously, as we're getting back into officials, the pressure is differently. The A site still is going to be hit, and, and there's an entire storm, an army of guild players that are just not just coming down like a waterfall. Oh, this is so unfortunate. The Flash of Shadow was nice and decent. He's trying to hold them up, but again, the Rolling Thunder is coming in, trying his best, but Draken is going to take out Demasic exactly when they needed it. No chance for FTX once more, and they're not being rushed. They're not being overrun. This is not an entire Stampede coming their way. It is tactically just outmaneuvering them. And Xiao and Angel, there's not going to be too much they can do. I mean, surely two versus four with that duo, always dangerous and always capable of turning things around. But I got my doubts that this is going to be that easy for them. Trying to find the exits maybe to hope for worsening the situation of the economy. But at the end of the day, it's all coming down to Angel to find their oh, kills. Okay. At that point, one is a great start, but not much more to do. I mean, a bit of a disaster at this point, I have to say. For I'll find success, and I just don't know how. We've seen a replay here of what happened at the beginning of the round. This was just nasty and beautiful. Same part, Xiao not only getting the refrag, but getting another one. Draken, by the way, who decided to come back to guild. Thank God that he did. Oh, looks like they're going to repeat the same one. Xiao was ready for it, but was more ready for Jacin. A little too much. Maybe a little too one-dimensional at that point in time, though. It was, at that point, just a pure aim thing. Not outthinking them. I'll play them at that point, individually speaking. Unfortunate for him, you see 9 out of 10 cases of fragging machine. Same goes for Seiko. That is so smart. Yep, and that is obviously working. The fault line is not forcing him away. And Angel is not hitting the shots we just know from him most of the time. Those sip and gotta respond. And again, a one-man situation. A one-man army in the form of Draken. Most likely is still capable of making such moves. Still moves around, tries to get the spikes. Not gonna be easy. With three of the soldiers of FPX defending that position. Shadow is just joining Sippin at that point in time. But here comes the paranoia. A little bit more to the right because Sippin is not going to be blind. Still going to be taken out. Shadow should have been though hit by the paranoia. And he's just waiting. There's Oops. five seconds for the smoke. Could just pop it directly in front of him. Just he needs goes. to check his back first. Yeah. He's going to pop it though. And now the question is... Is he going to confuse him? Nope. Doesn't seem to be the case. Gets the spike. <laughs> yeah, in time. And he could just easily make the move. But again, on CT, Demasic is waiting. 14 seconds. Check 7 in the meantime. Can't get uh. those when they swing. It seemed to be so intriguing that it has to go that way. Angel's coming over from main. Yassine has to the awareness oh. and takes him down. One out of five volts is gone. More to come. Oh. Now they gain the information. And number 12 seems to be on the radar and in range for the side of Guild, who have just been outperforming FPX throughout the second half. It might be close, it might be tight, and it might be just still Demasic oh, who's trying to make a move. But Xiao on his own, Amazing. he won't make it possible under no circumstance. Amazing. There is no way that Xiao can get this round. Maybe he's gonna try and get some exit frags, just covering his back. But this, I mean, we have to say that this play, this rotation, this mid round call, we have to give entirely to Draken because with that position, and he was like, hey guys, they're not really here. So I'm gonna get into B, see what's going on there. Oh, they're actually not here. And the movement was so smooth and so smart from them. Xiao is gonna get a kill here on Saif and it's really nuts. I eat my words there. Oops. I mean, FEX came in with the previous with five out of five ults. And he saw it. He saw two. Yeah. That it's so big. And he takes up one. Here. This is so big. This could be finishing right here. Yeah, but the good thing about it is he's playing the time game. I'm not going to show myself. You have to pretty much accept that I'm there. You can't do something actively against me. Safe makes a move just in time. Oh, and this is... A bit of a disaster. Once more for FPX. Surely they still have three out of five. They still have the rest, though. Yeah, but he can look where they are. The, the, un yeah. un impossible. It's so sad. Yeah. It's impossible. They've already tried to take that control. Doesn't look like it's going to be happening. They can push, though, but they cannot completely sell this B site again. They cannot play the retake on that situation. 
And look at the rotation here coming. Oh my, oh my, Demasic. You don't know what's coming, but you're gonna see it fairly soon. Most definitely. He's on his own. I mean, the poor man with a sheriff. Oh, with hands. a sheriff. It's gotta be the hero. And a light playing. shield and a oh, rolling thunder. It's just oh, getting God. worse and worse. I mean, it's, it's slight rain that's becoming a thunderstorm and a tornado over on the side of a no chance at all. Even the old's gonna be popped by you seen. The man just wants the frax, knows that there's one close by. See you later, Zippin. I mean, he's, he's still not popping it. Hold on. Well, he's making it work. Oh. There he goes. One found. They know where Zippin is. Done and dusted. Oh. It should be done and dusted. I'm taking that back, but bonk 